quarterfinals. Glad you could join us today. Tonight, it'll be the Boston Celtics going up against the Toronto Raptors at Scotiabank Arena. Welcome, everyone, to the broadcast table. Chris Weber to my right, Greg Anthony to my left. I'm Kevin Harlan and David Aldridge on our sideline. Hey, Dave. Well, guys, Kemba Walker is a multiple-time All-Star. But from his first seasons in the league, stardom was not assured. Even he said, I never saw myself playing at this level. There were times I didn't know if I even belonged in the NBA. I guess you could say I'm surprised. Now, Kevin, every player has those doubts at the beginning, but few overcome them the way Kemba has. David, he's come a long way. Thank you. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Walker and Smart, the guards. Brown the small four with Tatum holding down the four spot. And it's Tice in at the five. And for Toronto, Siakam at power forward with Gasol at center. Lowry out there with Fred Van Vliet. And it's Ananobi in at the small forward. It'll be the Celtics off the tip. And here's Walker. Passes it to Tatum. Smart kicks to Tatum. Shot clock at six. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Tatum's got the first points up on the board here for the Celtics. Right wing. Walker against Lowry. Shoots over Walker. Lowry's shot is good. A, a veteran guard with a knack for penetrating defenses. Lowry can pretty much get any shot he wants. Here's Smart. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And here's Toronto. Gasol passes to Lowry. Three-pointer. Rebounded by Smart. Boston's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. It's hauled in by the Raptors. They lost their last game on Tuesday. And look at what they did in the fourth quarter. Just totally out of sync and, and lacking in intensity. And that turned into that huge comeback. Here's Van Vliet. Unable to get that one. Now the Celtics take it the other way. Tatum passes to Tice. And that one is stuffed right through. Uh, you know, some scouts thought Tatum had tunnel vision looking only for his own shot. But he's more about team. Here's Siakam. No good. Shot missing. Great D that time from Tatum. Brown wide open. He fires. Nice shot from the wing. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Van Vliet looking around. Outside Lowry. And again, no good by Toronto. It's just one for five from the field now. I mean, they've come out flat. They need to pick up the energy. Oh, the setup's good. That's the shot they're looking for, but you can't get them all to go. Here's Van Vliet, and he uses the glass on the layup. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. <laughs> yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. So we'll see Kemba Walker go to the line here. Kyle Lowry picks one up there. The Celtics shooting their first free throw of the evening. Shooting one. Three. 
free throw, no good for Walker. And the speed of Walker, I mean, it's sensational. He can switch gears and an active player on both ends. Siakam against Tatum. Over to the wing. Ananobi kicks to Gasol. From outside, off the mark. A strong D on the perimeter. That, that, that's how you got to play. Outside, Walker. Now, here's Brown, covered by Van Vliet. And it's Brown that time on the assist by Walker. Brown's got five points so far. Oh, great ball movement there. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Lowry's shot is good. How about dueling from long range, just going at each other? Well, it's a matter of pride and a matter of each side trying to seize control of this game right now. Walker finds Tatum. Outside, Walker. Takes a three. And the Celtics hit again from deep. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Van Vliet with it. Pass to Lowry. Now the feed to Gasol. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Nice timing on the pick and roll there. Good screen. Good, good catch by Gasol. Here's Walker. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Floats one, and the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. The Raptors shooting their first free throws of the game. Oh, take a break, take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Van Vliet. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Uh, his free throw shooting is something they never need to worry about. He doesn't even know how to go through a cold streak. Lowry against Walker. The pass to Tatum launches a three. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Siakam outside. And it's blocked. And so it looks like the Raptors will retain possession here. To the paint. Six on the shot clock. Here's Van Vliet. In building this lead, they've done a terrific job finishing their defensive sequence. Oh! Uh, that's amazing, the creativity. And you see how fluid an athlete Tatum is. Lowry against Walker. The shot from the low post is good. That's seven points for Kyle Lowry. Uh, he, he's got the hot hand right now. As long as he can keep getting open, they've got to keep feeding him. Walker the pass to Brown. Lowry against Walker. That one a little long. Raptors trail by six. Siakam inside. Working on Walker. The Celtics have gotten eight of their 13 shots to find the bottom of the bucket. Tatum finds Walker. And a miss there on the triple. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. Lowry against Brown. Lowry passes to Gasol. 
Rebounded by Smart. The defense there got away with a major lapse. Pass to Tice. Brown outside. The three-pointer no good. Toronto's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Got a hand on it. The long arm of the law. Tatum prohibiting that shot from ever having a chance. Tice passes to Brown. Stolen away. Last break. Here come the Raptors. And the Raptors miss again. The defense has done a good job of forcing him into tough shots this quarter. Tatum kicks to Walker. From deep. That's good, and it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. Such a consistent night for him from the field. Whenever they've needed it, he's been their safety valve. So timeout called here, the first for Toronto. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they might be pressing a little. I mean, forcing some things. This is a good opportunity to calm everyone down. Some changes for Toronto. Serge Ibaka, he's checked in for Gasol. Hollis Jefferson comes in for OG Ananobi. And Norman Powell subbed in for Kyle Lowry. Then for the Celtics, Cantor is checked in for Daniel Tice. Gordon Hayward comes in for Jalen Brown. And Brad Wanamaker subbed in for Marcus Smart. Walker finds Hayward. Back to Walker. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Siakam looking around. They get a hand on it. Tatum with it. Now guarded by Siakam. Tatum on the wing. Over Ibaka. And there's the bucket from Tatum. And it's an 11 point Celtic lead. I like their focus coming in. Terrific execution so far. Going for the juggler right off the bat. I mean, jumping out to an impressive early lead. The drop. Oh! oh. Uh -uh. Basket's good. And, and I got to say, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult when they're trailing. Mm -hmm, but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Davis has checked in for Toronto. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. They throw good, Siakam. Celtics leading by eight. Wanamaker the pass to Tatum. Back to Wanamaker. Shoots over Powell. That one off the back iron and out. Toronto's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. And pushing it up, here's Boston. Shots good by Walker. Walker's got 12 points in the game. Excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. Yeah, Greg, they've come out of the gate strong at both ends of the floor, just, just in total control so far. He usually takes advantage of D like that. Should have been a simple layup. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Love how smart Hayward is on that drive right there. Terrific at staying in attack mode and getting the call. This is his first free throw of the game. Two. The first free throw is good. There's been a lot of evolution to Hayward's game, I mean, during his career. I'm not sure too many people saw him becoming the terrific player he is today. Robert Williams, he's checked in for the Celtics. Hayward hits them both. Raptors trail by 12. Here's Powell. No points in the game yet for him. 
fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket that's anyway, good. so a three-point play chance for him. Shoot and that's how you set a screen. Takes the D right out of the equation. The Raptors shooting their fourth shot at the foul line here. One shot. That free throw good from Hollis Jefferson. Boston leading by nine. Here's Walker. And Davis sends it back. And a wide open look for Siakam. And it's off from three-point range. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Here's Hayward. No good on that one. So the Raptors will take it the other way. Right side, Davis. Picked away. Outside, Walker for three. Serge Ibaka pulls it in. And so Ibaka will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. Nine-point game. Wanamaker looking over the floor. From deep, Walker. He scores a sixth bucket from the floor with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. Some players might wear down during this kind of run. He's only getting stronger. Passes it to Davis. Ibaka outside. Down to five on the shot clock. With the fadeaway. Hollis Jefferson can't hit. Celtics leading by 12. And it's Rondé Hollis Jefferson with a foul. That's foul number two for him. Uh, two fouls and we're not even out of the first quarter. That, that's not a good pace to set. Oh. On defense, Toronto. That's a two-pointer from Walker. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it falls. Ooh, one of the toughest guys in the league to shadow. Walker repeatedly beats good defense. Walker with some nice D. Boston shooting it officially from the get-go. They're at 52% from the field. The shot's good from Gordon Hayward. Yeah, they built up this lead three points at a time. Oh, yeah, they certainly found something along the perimeter. Just an onslaught of three-point bombs. Williams against Siakam. To stop the run, that one good for two. Siakam's got five now. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Right, it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses, that, that doesn't constitute defense. Kemba Walker firing on all cylinders for the Boston Celtics. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire quarter. We'll return shortly. Marcus Gasol so appreciated by his fans and certainly a lot of Spanish-speaking fans excited about his success. Which is fun. You see more fans on the stands um, that speak Spanish. Um, even if they're from Spain or um, Argentina, Mexico, whatever they're from, they, uh, they support the Spanish-speaking people and they love the game also. And great to see so many different cultures and countries embrace the game. Yes, and, and with players like Gasol having so much success, I think it helps give those Latino and, and Spanish-speaking fans a connection to the NBA. And we welcome you back to Game 4 on 2K Sports. And guys, we've seen the Celtics really take control here. Yeah, in that first period, they look to push in transition at every opportunity. With the game being fast-paced these days, you can expect this from a lot of teams, but they did it very well. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor, all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the floor for Boston. 
Williams is out there with Hayward. Then there's Kemba Walker. Then it's Ennis Cantor. And it's Wanamaker in at the two spot. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. Here's Walker. The rebound by Ibaka. Ibaka's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Siakam kicks to Powell. And another basket for Toronto. The assist is the key to that sequence. I mean, a great look to set him up. Here's Walker, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. Oh, man. Look at the skill set Walker has. Superb at using his body inside to draw that contact. And uh, he's just had one attempt at the line earlier. That free throw good from Walker. And so Walker nails both of them. Raptors trail by 11. Now Davis. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. The Raptors shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Shooting two. And that one falls for Davis. Both good from the line that time. And Walker's got the ball here for the Celtics. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That is his first foul of the game. Hayward kicks to Williams. Celtics passing it around. Walker against Ibaka. Shots good by Walker. Walker's got 21. And then Walker gets it going. He's tenacious. Feels like he could take on anyone. Now here's Powell. Pass to Ibaka. And here is Davis. He's guarded by Williams. Clock at four. For the three. Offensive rebound. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Williams. And some changes here for the Raptors. Marcus All comes in for Pascal Siakam. And it's Kyle Lowry in for Norman Powell. Jalen Brown's checked in for Boston. Here is Ibaka. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Oh, no, no. Hey. Now the dish to Lowry. Six to shoot. And here's Gasol outside. Hits the three-point bomb. Upping his three-point game over the years. Gasol, I mean, has adjusted well to how the game is played nowadays. Williams passes to Brown. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Raptors trail by eight. And there's the pass to Hollis Jefferson. Outside Lowry. No shot. Now here's Davis. Defense right on him. Hollis Jefferson passes to Davis. That's tipped. 
And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. OG Ananobi's checked in for the Raptors. Fred Van Vliet comes in for Davis. The Celtics also changing it up. Daniel Tice is checked in for Williams. And Smart subbed in for Gordon Hayward. Here's Wanamaker, while recovering. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. The Celtics have gone four for five from the charity stripe in this one up to now. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Here's Ananobi, guarded by Smart. Ananobi kicks to Ibaka, clock at six, and the three off target. Celtics leading by nine. And here's Smart, still getting warmed up offensively, no scoring hit from him. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Here's Poirier. <laughs> Up top, Brown. Covered by Van Vliet. Oh, Brown is just fearless, Kevin. I mean, especially when it comes to going right into the contact. For Boston, they have missed two free throws in the game, going five for seven. Two shots. And he makes the first. And, and for Brown, it's about consistently improving. We've seen flashes from him, but now it's time for him to meet expectations. And he can't hit the second. Raptors trail by 10. Van Vliet with the bucket. Van Vliet's got six. Well, it's 7 1, the vision. Casal staying aware. I mean, this guy's got game. Smart with the ball. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Drops in the tray. And the Celtics lead by 11. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Right, it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses, that, that doesn't constitute defense. Here's Lowry. Back to Van Vliet. It's deflected. It's two on one. Here's Brown. Here's Smart. And the shot is good. Smart's got his second bucket of the night. Well, that's the kind of effort they love to see from Smart. He's sticking his nose in there and doing some work on the offensive boards. Hey, yo, right here. Pass to Ibaka. Now here's Van Vliet, guarded by Smart. No good from outside. Celtics leading by 13. Here's Poirier. And it's Lowry with the rebound. Uh, come on, you, you got to get up on him and play some defense. They won't get away with that next time. Here's Gasol. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. Gasol's got five points in the quarter. Gasol is the kind of guy, I mean, if you forget about him, he's going to make you pay. Nice work on the offensive glass. Brown outside. 
to the inside. Tice and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. The Celtics have shot 67% from the line, going 6 of 9. Two shots. That's good from Tice. Boston making a switch here. Tatum's checked in. He hits both from the stripe. Raptors trail by 13. Van Vliet passes to Ibaka. Back to Van Vliet. The floater. It's deflected. He's been cold, and it's been hurting them. The D, I mean, was ready for him. He hasn't been able to solve it. And it's good for two. And it's seven points for Marcus Smart. His field goal percentage is creeping up there now. I mean, it wasn't pretty in the first quarter. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Here's Van Vliet. It's blocked, but they recover it. I mean, he has to work harder to get a good high percentage look. I mean, he's been taking some bad shots out there. Toronto's gone one of four from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. Lowry passes to Gasol. And Gasol with the dunk. Yeah, right to the rim, uh, Greg. Uh, once Gasol gets this close, he commits to flush. Outside, smart. Left side, Brown. And he makes that one. Brown's got eight. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. Oh, yeah, and that's what you love about him. He shows no mercy, even with a comfortable lead. Passes to Smart. Here's Poirier. Back to Smart. Over Lowry. Nice shot by Smart. He's got nine. And without looking at the scoreboard, you think they were the team trailing and trying to fight their way back. Lowry passes to Ibaka. Van Vliet with it. Defended by Tice. Here's Lowry. He has seven. Five on the clock. Here's Van Vliet. Off target from outside. He's gone off the rails this quarter. And it's a bad time to do it. I mean, with their needing to fight from behind. The Celtics have shot the ball pretty well from the line, going 8 of 11. Two shots. Relax on the first. And he knocks down the first one. Innis Canners checked in for the Celtics. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And so Gasol will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. They trail by 18. Nailed from three-point land. Gasol's got 12. That's his second three-pointer of this quarter after not getting any in the first. Smart dishes to Tatum. Here's Poirier, defended by Gasol. Smart deciding where to go with it. Fires the three. Toronto grabs the miss. Lowry's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. And the potential Ananobi has 
is exciting, has the athleticism, the shooting touch, and the drive to keep improving. Shooting two. He's off on the first. Some changes for Toronto. Siakam is checked in for Ibaka. And it's Powell in for Kyle Lowry. And that trip coming up empty, missing both. Celtics leading by 15. Poirier passes to Smart from past the arc. Rebound by the Raptors. Gasol's got six rebounds in the game. To the middle, here's Siakam. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. This trip is his second to the free throw line in this one. Hollis Jefferson's checked in for OG and an OB. Kemba Walker is checked in for Boston. One shot. Boston's gone outside a lot tonight. 17 times, in fact. 7 of 17. It's Brown on the wing. Outside, Walker. From downtown, Gasol with the rebound. Gasol's got seven rebounds in the game. Pass to Van Vliet. Just five to shoot. And the lead is down inside single digits. Van Vliet's got nine. And it seems as if someone got their signals crossed if he can wind up that open from three-point range. I'm sure that was not a part of the game plan. A fantastic effort on D to get up in his face and deny the layup. Hollis Jefferson passes to Gasol. Now here's Van Vliet. He's covered closely. Gasol finds Hollis Jefferson. Toronto working the ball around now. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Celtics leading by nine. Trying to end the drought. The kick out to Tatum. There's the triple. Rebound by the Raptors. And just not able to find the target from three-point range here in the second quarter, although he did knock down one in the first. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Oh, big time put back there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. Baseline try. That shot is off. Gasol with the defensive effort. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's Walker. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Walker's got six here in this quarter. And with that one, it ends an 11-0 run by Toronto. Now here's Van Vliet, guarded by Walker. He gives up a lot of size to most other power fours, but not too many of them can fly like he can. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Cantor inside, defended by Gasol. Yep, that one goes in there. Cantor's got his first basket of the night. Oh, that's not the kind of interior defense you want. Way too slow to protect the rim. Now, Siakam lets it go from deep, and that one released in time, but no good. Uh, really working on the technique defensively. Tatum showing good fundamentals, good discipline. And so that's the end of the first half. It's the Celtics. They lead by nine. We'll be back shortly, live from Toronto.
It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Taking a look at the Celtics, they've put in a great performance so far in Game 4. The importance of this game and their effort have been very apparent. And if they're able to put another good half of basketball in and take a three games to one lead tonight, they'd be in a nearly unstoppable position to take the series. Taking a look at the Celtics, Shaq, what do you think? I'm happy for Kimball Walker. I really am. You know, we've all seen the work he's put in. We knew coming out of college he had the heart of a champion. Now he has the complete game of a champion. Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Raptors. It looked like they were shooting threes blindfolded. Sometimes you could get cold, but that was atrocious. It was scary. But they also looked scattered out there, and I think that disorganization was the main issue for them missing those shots. They need to establish themselves better into a better rhythm in the second half and avoid relying so heavily on the three-point shot. NBA playoff round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. What a game we're seeing from Kemba Walker. And with all the pressure he must have felt coming into this one, it didn't phase him one bit. Fantastic start. Proving once again why he's considered a clutch talent in this league. Rising to the occasion. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. Siakam at power forward with Gasol at center. Fred Van Vliet out there with Lowry, and it's Hollis Jefferson in at the three. That's Nick Nurse's five as we get into the second half. For Toronto, they have made seven out of nine when they've stepped to the line. A five-time All-Star. Lowry has come a long way since being drafted 24th overall back in 2006. Here's Walker. And it's Van Vliet with the rebound. Van Vliet's got rebound number five here tonight. Out to the right wing. Smart against Lowry. Out to the right wing. Here's Gasol. He scores his sixth bucket from the floor with that one. He's shot the ball 11 times. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And it's Rondé Hollis Jefferson with a foul. That's his third foul of the game. And Toronto making a change here. Ananobi's checked in. To the inside. And it's Walker that time on the assist by Brown. 25 points for Walker. Oh, what incredible precision. Brown cutting the D to pieces with his pass. Here's Siakam. Banked in off the glass. How's that for a start? Good on all three attempts so far in the second half. Celtics leading by four. And Walker kicks to Brown. Now the pass to Walker. Here's Tice. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. You'd like to see a little more energy coming out of halftime with the defensive end. Outside for Gasol. Over Tice. And there are the Raptors with another bucket. It hasn't taken them any time to find their rhythm in the second half. Four for four from the field already. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Shots good by Walker. 
Walker's got four points in the quarter. Well, this is the thing about Walker. He will challenge you from the perimeter. He will challenge you inside also. Siakam outside. Floats it up there for Siakam. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Walker's shot is off. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoiding fouling and, and gotten the perfect position to alter the shot. Get there, get there. Get it back, get it back. He can't get that one. And Toronto will go the other way with it. Siakam passes to Van Vliet. Pass to Lowry. No good on the three. And you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. Oh, man, did you see him close that gap? What a great job. He made the shooter feel uncomfortable. A nice shot by Tatum. Uh, and, and you think about the potential of Tatum. I mean, once he has strength, particularly in the lower half, uh, he's going to be a load inside. Lowry against Walker. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. It's blocked. Shoots from the baseline. Count that one. Siakam's got 18 points in the game. It's all about the tail of the tape right there. I mean, his size advantage makes that jump shot easy pickings. And now the first time out called here for Boston. Some changes for Toronto. Ibaka comes in for Marc Gasol. Davis is subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. Then for the Celtics, Williams is checked in for Jason Tatum. Gordon Hayward comes in for Brown. And Brad Wanamaker subbed in for Marcus Smart. Here's Walker. Again, the miss by the Celtics. It's been a struggle for him this quarter, but he's not losing confidence. I mean, he keeps firing. Give him credit for that. And Davis can't get it to go. And it's Williams with the ball for Boston. They led by as many as 18 points. Oh, man, and right there, Hayward willing to sacrifice his body in traffic to make the play. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. He doesn't get the second one. Raptors trail by five. Feeds it to Lowry. Rejected by Walker. They retain possession. The Celtics have gone a somewhat subpar four of ten on their shots in the second half so far. Launches it. Toronto grabs the miss. Siakam's got rebound number five here tonight. He hasn't had anywhere near the same touch he had in the first half. Zero three-pointers in this half compared to three in the first. Lowry against Walker. Hayward outside. And it's Lowry with the rebound. Lowry's got his fifth rebound in this one. 
Davis, the pass to Ibaka. So difficult to defend Ibaka inside the length, the improved strength, and he's one of those bigs who doesn't mind going to the line. This is his first chance at the line tonight. Two. That one drops. He ties it up. One of the best free throw shooting bigs in the league. But that wasn't always the case for Ibaka. He has put in a ton of work. And the free throw is good, now leading by one. Boston shooting 43% from the floor. Walker the pass to Tice. Kicks it to Williams. From 15 feet away, it's rebounded by Ananobi. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Here's Lowry. They get the rebound. Here's Siakam, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Impeccable from the line since halftime. Siakam hits them both. Celtics trail by three some tough offensive sets they want to turn it around yeah right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum fast break here come the raptors here's lowry buries the jumper to finish the break lowry's got seven points for the quarter and that set them apart today guys their success with the mid-range now a timeout called by boston and he's been trying to do it all himself and, and it's not working instead of forcing shots you got to focus on moving the ball and keeping everybody involved Norman Powell's checked in for Toronto. And it's Walker with the ball, bringing it up for the Celtics. It's a five-point game. Outside, Williams. Poked away. Passes it to Tice. Looking for Hayward, he gets it there. Powell with the steal. Here's Siakam. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Now it's a seven-point Raptor lead. Uh, with the second half he's having, I mean, his field goal percentage is way up there. And the foul called on Pascal Siakam. That's his first foul. Cantor is checked in for Daniel Tice. And Boston has possession. They trail by seven. Six to shoot. 
Hayward dishes to Williams. Can they get it? Tries again. He takes it up and lays it in. Williams has got his first two points. Yeah, hard trying to keep Williams off the boards. He makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. Lowry against Walker. Ibaka. They get it again. Got a piece of it. Here's Davis. And they had their chances. Two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. Hayward passes to Wanamaker. Now Cantor, guarded by Powell. Outside, Walker takes the three, sinks the triple. And now just a two-point Raptor lead. And Walker is what we call thirsty. He's thinking of firing as soon as he gets the rock. Great presence of mind from the point guard. And stolen by Hayward. And Hayward with the stuff. Gotta take care of the ball. They'll punish you uh -huh. if you're that careless. That's right. And that's severe punishment right there. <laughs> oh, you're right. And I love the opportunistic approach. These kinds of hustle plays can be game changers. And what a take from Lowry, using that quickness to just blaze to the rim. And a wide open look for Walker. No luck that time on the shot that would have put them on top. Pass to Davis. To the paint. Here's Lowry. Good. Nice job down low. Now it's a four-point Toronto lead. This quarter expending tremendous energy at the offensive end, and he's not slowing down. He's still calling for it. Here's Walker, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Walker's got nine points now in just the second half. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. It's all clicked time out, time into out. place for him this quarter. He's not missed a single shot. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Poor rotations. I mean, slow help and just not enough toughness on the interior. They've got a lot to talk about. Hollis Jefferson's checked in for Davis. The Celtics also with a sub. Jalen Brown's checked in for Brad Wanamaker. Celtics trail by four. Now here's Walker. 32 points in the game. And the rejection by Ibaka. Just insane length and leaping ability. Ibaka can reject shots from anywhere on the floor. Offensive rebound. The pass to Hollis Jefferson. Powell for three. Rebounded by the Celtics. Cantor, the pass to Williams. And it's Williams with the jam. Uh, an unreal athlete. Williams gets off the floor with such ease to power it down. Lowry kicks to Ibaka. Reverses. And the layup good by Lowry. Lowry's got 13 points now in the quarter. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Here's Williams. The shot that time, not on target. And Toronto will go the other way with it. Powell, the pass to Hollis Jefferson. Here's Lowry. The teardrop falls in. Lowry's got 22 points. 
deceptive and skilled at that guard position. When Lowry's scoring like this, good luck trying to defend him. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Ah, fourth foul of the game for him. He's starting to get into that danger zone. The Raptors making a switch here. Van Vliet's checked in. And a change for the Celtics. Tatum, he's checked in for Robert Williams. Tatum kicks to Hayward. Shoots over Powell. They get it back. Rebounding might not be his number one priority, but you wouldn't know it from tonight. He's down there out playing the big guys. Lobs it up for Ibaka, and Ibaka slams it in. And the slithery agility of Ibaka. Not many guys can go up with him to stop the catch and dunk. Walker against Lowry. Shoots from 14. No good off the back of the rim. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. Here's Van Vliet. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. Hayward kicks to Walker. 29 seconds left in the third quarter. Down low. Fades away. With that shot, the Raptor lead is cut down to just six points with the basket from Cantor. Oh, great flow to that possession. Two players totally in sync with each other. Walker against Lowry. To the wing on the left, Van Vliet. And good, he got the English that time as it falls. Van Vliet's got the lead up to eight now for the Raptors. And we've watched three so far in this one. Toronto ahead, ending the third quarter on a 14-6 run. We'll be back shortly, live from Toronto. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. Great vision. He's a gifted passer. Has his finger on the pulse of this office. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. Around the small floor with Tatum holding down the four spot. Walker in smart, the guards. And it's Cantor in at the five spot. Walker's shot is off. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. And here's Cantor. Takes the 13-footer, and he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Now, too bad this scoring hasn't been contagious. I mean, they'd be in much better shape if a few of their other guys could pick up some slack. That's tipped, and so it looks like the Raptors will retain possession here. Ananobi, he's checked in for the Raptors. And a change for the Celtics. Tice is checked in. On defense, Boston. Count the basket. And now, 24 points for Kyle Lowry. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. It's stolen by Lowry. No, no, no! A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. That's going to send Kyle Lowry to the line. Kemba Walker picks one up. One shot, one shot. Free throw drops for Kyle Lowry. And it's smart with the ball for the Boston Celtics. 11 point game. 
Gas to Tatum. And Gasol sends it back. You got to be wary of Gasol. I mean, he's good at using his limp to turn away shots. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Shooting one. Gasol, no good on the free throw. What you love most about Gasol is his passion. I mean, he inspires everyone around him. He competes every night. Walker finds Tatum. Smart on the wing. Will it go? Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. At six foot four, 220 pounds, Marcus Smart might be the most physically imposing point guard in the league, especially with his fiery approach to the game. And so, Smart nails both of them. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Van Vliet with it. Outside Gasol, pass to Lowry. Here's Ananobi, guarded by Tatum. Shot clock at five, back to Lowry. Three-pointer, rebounded by Smart. Smart's got his seventh rebound here tonight. He's done almost no damage from three-point range in this game. No threes in this half, and only one in the first. Shooting two. First one falls for him. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. And so Smart nails both of them. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Now here's Van Vliet, guarded by Smart. Outside Lowry, from the line. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Van Vliet's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Walker against Lowry. And Walker kicks to Brown. And he's good on the three ball. Oh, you love to see Brown knock down the three ball, showing great strides and improving his range. Pass to Ananobi. Here's Hollis Jefferson, guarded by Tatum. Here's Gasol, and he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Really starting to attack on the interior here, showing a much more physical presence here in the second half. Shooting one. Yeah, 
And the free throw, no good. Celtics trail by 10. Tice passes to Smart. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Gasol against Brown. Lowry passes to Van Vliet. Goes up high for the two-handed dunk. And that's what makes Lowry a great floor leader. Just unselfish in his attitude and great awareness of how to keep his teammates involved. Here's Walker. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Gasol's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Dishes it to Lowry. It's stolen by Tice. Knocked away. Here's Brown and finished off by Brown. What an athletic play from Brown, showing off his mad hops on these jams. Lowry against Walker. Gasol passes to Ananobi. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. There's the pass to Hollis Jefferson. Six on the shot clock. The fader. And Boston with the rebound. Turns an easy jump shot into a tough one by going to the fadeaway. I mean, look what happens. Tice finds Smart. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Oh, and I think working himself to the line, an area where Smart really can excel. I mean, he's built for contact. That's for sure. Shooting two. And the first one drops. Siakam is checked in for Rondé and Hollis Jefferson. And so, Smart nails both of them. And they are making it look easy at the free throw line here in the second half. Lowry passes to Ananobi. Here's Siakam. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Siakam's got 16 points here in the second half. Walker taking his time here. I'm up, I'm up. Fish, 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 fish. Fades back and off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. Walker's got 36. Lowry passes to Ananobi. Now, here's Siakam. He's covered by Brown inside, and Gasol gets it to go. Gasol's got six points in the quarter. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Walker goes in. Good work defensively by Lowry. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. For a player who's almost a sure thing to score in tight, that one's a stunner. Pass to Tice. Outside, Walker. Over Lowry. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. Walker's got 38 points. Before a player the size of Kimber Walker, hitting that jumper becomes crucial. Luckily, that's what he does. On an OB. That three off the mark. Oh, when the D forgets about him on the perimeter, they're playing with fire. Lucky they don't get burned here. And Fred Van Vliet is going to pick up a foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Here's Walker. Outside Tatum. He can't get it to go. Good D by Siakam. Lowry drawing the double team. Gasol finds Lowry. Back to Gasol. A three ball. 
That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got nine assists now tonight. Celtics trail by 11. Here's Walker. Brown outside. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on Siakam. Uh, I mean, it really, that's just sheer tenacity. Brown exploiting the D with his drive and, and, and making them get physical with him. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. The Raptors making a switch here. Ibaka is checked in. And Brown drops them both. Raptors leading by nine. And the Raptors call time here. And they're picking up a lot of fouls already in the penalty. Not a good sign. They need to focus on moving their feet and maintaining a good defensive position. A chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Kyle Lowry. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. And Greg, to play like he has under the most intense circumstances here in the playoffs makes it all the more remarkable. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Nick Nurse told his team. His concern was both their inconsistency and their amount of three-point shots. He said, let's move the ball for good shots. If you have an open three, take it. Otherwise, let's attack the rim and put some pressure on these guys. Kevin? Thank you, David. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Two. Free throw good, Siakam. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. And so it's Walker with it who brings it up for Boston. He kicks it to Tatum. Looking to get it. Oh, what a beautiful play. What intensity. Did you see that? Oh, my Great. Goodness. Wow. I, I am more impressed by Tatum every time I watch him. That's a veteran's move. Van Vliet passes to Ananobi. Shot clock at six. Back to Van Vliet. And smart over to health. Van Vliet passes to Ibaka. 
Lowry against Brown. From deep. The rebound by the Celtics. Tatum's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Ties kicks to Smart. Now Tice. Here's Walker. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Walker's got 17 points here in the second half. Now here's Van Vliet. Defense is right there. Walker against Lowry. The wide open look here for Ibaka. That falls. Nice feed that time from Kyle Lowry. Lowry's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Walker against Lowry. Puts one up from 19. Here's Tice. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Toronto calls timeout. Uh, adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, I, I like the chess match that's going on here. Each team trying to find and, and exploit the favorable matchup on the floor. If they want to, they can milk the clock just a little bit here. Yeah, that's the best option. Loads it up there for Siakam. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley-oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Walker the pass to Smart. Kept alive. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. One shot. I like watching Tatum compete. Now, the professional approach to the game, the work ethic, such an excellent rebound. One shot. And Toronto has possession. Six point lead. Van Vliet passes to Ibaka, and they pick up two. And the lean frame of Ibaka taking the punishment, but still converting the basket. Toughness. Now here's Walker, and it's Boston with another. And that's a great piece of work to get to the hoop there. Just tore the D to shreds. Siakam up top, guarded by Tatum. Two points, that one goes. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all too often. You have to be willing to put in the work. And here's Walker outside. Sinks the three-pointer. Walker's got 45 points. And that's what you got to love about Walker's fearlessness. He wants the ball in those big moments. In the corner, it's Van Vliet. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Outside, smart. Stolen by Van Vliet. Passes it to Siakam. It's deflected. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Lowry from outside. Shot clock reset for Toronto. Count that one from Van Vliet. Uh, no basket feels better than a putback. Love getting rewarded for grinding it out on the glass. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're trailing by seven. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. There's 53 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Brown, it's in! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. A gigantic bucket. Brown stepping into the spotlight when it matters most. 
And here is Van Vliet. And pushing it up, here's Boston. Walker leading the charge. And whenever the game is on the line, Walker is a great option to go to. He just has a knack for burying big shots. That's good from Kemba Walker. Well, that's big free throws from a player they depend on in those situations. And I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. Yeah, smart move. Here's Van Vliet. It counts. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. That's why they put the ball in his hands. They know they can count on him to make crucial shots. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're behind by four. 26 seconds left in the game. Twenty-six seconds left to play in the final quarter. Fires from the line. Good! And he has brought them to within two points. Uh, and, and Brown is a reliable threat from mid-range. I mean, effortlessly rising up for the nice-looking Jay. And the Raptors call time here. They're up by two. Twenty seconds left in the fourth quarter. Twenty seconds left in the fourth quarter, and they go to the intentional foul. Yeah, you know what? Smart foul. You got to try and extend the game. He hits the first one, and that makes it a three-point lead. And so both free throws are good, and it's a four-point ball game. And thanks to his good work at the line there, now we have a two-possession ball game. Can't waste any time here. Oh, you're right. They desperately need a bucket, and every second matters. And good! There's another! My goodness. 50 for the game. Yep, he is putting on a show. And they're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. So the first one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a four-point ball game. Those free throws are the nail in the coffin, guys. Walker finds Smart. Outside, Walker from the arc. Tice, it's good! He makes so many hustle plays, and, and here he's working the offensive glass for the tip-in. And Kemba Walker is going to pick up the foul. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. And, and, guys, this is where their depth really comes into play. They, they've got such talent at that position. They'd love to have him out there, but they won't suffer much of a drop-off. And so he drops them both. It's a four-point ball game. And so the big win by Toronto in a tight game. This was a crucial game for him, tying up the series at two apiece, Greg, a, a huge accomplishment. And this series, I think, hinged on who picked up game four, Kevin. I mean, now it's a three-game series, and anything can happen. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Alt, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for being with us. We'll see you next time.